So we get underway for the fifth time this year. It's the four hours of Spa Francorchamps. The red lights go out now. And the chaos has already started, I'm afraid to say. La Source is classic for that. And there's a traffic jam now because of a spun G-Drive racing car of Roman Rusinov. And Phil Hansen's got involved with it as well. GT again. car and uh, one of the Nielsen LMP3s is off the road. That's the 66 JMW Motorsport Ferrari at Campos Corner. And La Source on the first lap. There's got to be a bit of give and take. It's, oh, he the was 26 hit. was caught by the car behind it's it, the which is the Sally Yolich yeah. driven Racing Team Turkey. Roman Rusinov now on the grass, virtually parked. Absolute disaster for G Drive Racing. Now comes Matty Campbell, can he make it stick or is he going to get boxed here? He's in the right position to take position down at Jackie X corner. And Joe goes through to take the lead of GTE, beautifully done by Matt Campbell. Oh. Cars, there's the 34 of Sally, Yolich so is now trouble. off the road. That's between Lecombe and Bruxelles uh, corner. It was a weird incident, just went completely straight on through the third bit of Lecombe corner and into the gravel trap. Major yeah. dramas, Johnny. Massive crash for um, how quickly motorsport can turn because the winner's last time out at Monza, surely out of the race as Duncan Cameron comes around the corner at Lecom. So Manchaka is actually trying to go for a move around Jean-Baptiste Lehaite. Manchaka stalls, I think, briefly, then gets the car restarted. He's just getting back up to speed and then gets nailed by Duncan Cameron. But Duncan couldn't have done anything about that whatsoever. Green flags are waved all around Spa-Francorchamps and we're racing once again with a very quick manoeuvre on Julien for Julien Canal on Alexandre Quani. 60 cars to the inside of the 93, that is Claudio Schiavone getting sixth position from Michael Fassbender oh. who spins as a result. So Fassbender will be trying to rejoin. Yeah, you're holding your breath because yes. we've already had a big uh, accident here with a car rejoining and one or two shoot through, thankfully avoiding the green 93 Porsche. Looks at the other side, the flashing lights don't have the desired effect at that point. Reed though will drift wider here, I think this is going to be where the move is made. Mastronati is going to take that position. Oh, Reed off the road, but it did give him a slight bit of a burst of horsepower there, but now Mastronati sweeps around the outside of the first are the sweepers at uh, Le Fania corner and the right-hander is where Mastronardi makes his move. Good run through Radion there for the WRT man. Go, looks to the middle of the track here. Track potentially threads the needle, goes to the inside. Oh, I nice. Think he's going to make that, that move stick, I think. Oh, will he? It's a matter of where does the Aston Martin go? I think that's going to go the WRT man's way and it does into the lead again goes the number 41 car of Ifeye. Oh, and the yellow flag is because of a big incident for one of the inter-Europol competition LMP3 cars. Thankfully, the wheel, as it goes clattering towards the tyres, is contained within the circuit. It's Aidan Reid oh, in for me. his first ELMS race, I think, the Australians. That was a big off and actually could have been a whole lot worse. Yes. James Allen around the outside at the com and gets the place from Finally. Tristan Gomendy. He got the toe. I was watching that with interest and managed to get to swoop around. So much downfall from these LMP2 cars. At the com corner is round the outside. Now will go Crisoni wow. on Cooper McNeil. He, clearly, he's been paying attention to the race earlier on, knowing that there's lots of grip out there on the outside of the com corner. She knows exactly what she wants to do here to fend off this Porsche. He looks around the outside this time. Is he going to try and force the error? Now it's going to be a drag race, and I think the Porsche's got it done here, but she's on the inside line. If she's got the pace yes. down the start-finish straight, she'll have the run, and I think she's managed to retain that position, Johnny. Was off the track as she did so, so the officials might have a say about that, but at the moment she's got the road position, let's say, the inside line at La Source, and again it's another drag race now down the hill, and it's back in front in the Iron Dames Ferrari. Great stuff. This is what we want to see. Close, clean racing. Fantastic stuff, up, up across, uh, across the top of Radion, well off the track there, it looked to me, the Porsche there. 
on the exit of La Source. Here comes Will Stevens. It's the outside inside trick. And who is going to blink first now at the bottom of the hill, heading towards Eau Rouge? Two abreast. Oh, go on then. Why not? With round the outside, Jot van Outer. Can he keep clear of the tyres? Yes, just about. But he's going to lose the position, I think, because the better drive will come from the Brit. And also good driving from Will Stevens because he edged Jot van Outer towards the Ferrari. Still hasn't given up on this mind. Wow. Jot. Jot round the outside this time into. La Com corner, he's all over the curbs though, and that can't be the quickest line through there. Will Stevens now underneath through the third bit of Le Com corner, and Jotman out it says, No, you don't, sunshine. I've still got power left in my United Autosports Orica. They are still two abreast. There's the potential for them to stay side by side all lap, you know, but it's not going to happen because out of Brussel corner, finally, Will Stevens makes it stick for Panis. The MV2S racing car is off the road at Radion. That might be exactly what they need. The yellow flag is out. It turns one, two, three, and four, which is Eau Rouge. He's lost it at, at Eau Rouge itself. Christophe Cresp has gone backwards into the tyre wall. Full course yellow removed. Full course yellow removed. And the fight is on for third and fourth positions in GT now. Rahel Fry getting the better getaway as we go back to green than Felipe Laza. And he's going to blow Done past him. the green Porsche into third position. No doubt about that. And whatever reason, Laza just didn't pick up the throttle as readily as Rahel Fry, who was in the starting blocks as they came through the kink on the Kemmel Strait. Team WRT have not only won their third race of this year's ELMS, but they take the title with a round to spare. Team WRT on home ground are the European Le Mans Series champions for LMP2 in 2021. Well done, all involved there. Vincent Voss can finally now celebrate because he knows it is a reality. You've made it, my friend. Universe champion. Great job, Louis. Great management. The first of the class leaders will be the 88 Ferrari of Alessio Rivera, together with Francois Perodo and Manu Collard. Francois Perodo has clambered up the debris fencing on the start-finish line, and he's at the top of the metal pole post there to cheer his 88 car across the line. LMP3 race leader and now race winner, Laurence Hoare with Mathieu de Barbois. 5.3 seconds, as I say, back to Duquesne team. That uh, drive finished by Tristan Gomendy. Will Stevens for Panis. Charles Milesi winning Cool Racing, uh, a pro-am. Jot van Outer will complete the top five in the 32 United Order Sports car, along with his teammates. In LMP3, it's a victory for DKR Engineering. AF Corsa on top in GTE from Iron Lynx. And Iron Lynx, 80 car from the 83. Congratulations to Team WRT in their first full season of ACO Rules Racing. Uh, they take a major title to back up their victory at the 24 Hours of Le Mans in August. And a win to the 37 crew of Alex Onquani, Nicolas Lapierre and Charles Milesi. AF Corsa are the winners this afternoon at Spa Francochamps for the GTE runners. DKR Engineering, it is the duo from DKR, Mathieu de Barbois and Laurence Hoare. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. We'll see you in Portugal.